thanks, Roger. It was. Yeah, I think uh, the toss was always going to be important. But from that point on, it was really, it was really crucial that we exploited that and we made the most of the opportunity to bat first on that wicket. Speak about batting long and making scores first innings in these conditions. And we did that brilliantly well. And then from that point on, I thought, you know, I thought we played, played all the cricket and we were in control of the game the whole way through. And the guys were exceptional uh, today in particular. To bowl them out in that manner was, was fabulous. So, a really pleasing performance and um, fills us with confidence going into the rest of the series. Uh, just go, I reckon. Uh, that's his, just leave it there. I think he seems to get better all the time. Um, his skill level keeps improving. His work rate's as good as, as anyone's I've ever seen. And you know, his fitness levels are, are right up there. Probably the, the best he's ever been in his whole career. So he's a credit to, to English cricket. Um, it sets a great example to all the young players. Um, and you know, when you're under pressure or you need something to happen, when you've got him in your armoury, it's, it's a very comfortable position to be in. Um, well, I, I, as probably the batter that spent most time out there on that wicket, I felt like I had the best gauge of it. And I knew that um, we, with the outfield as quick as it was, with the ground being as small as it was, didn't want to give India any chance of winning the game. Um, wanted to make sure that more than anything, that there was only two possible results. Um, right at the start of the series, having played all the cricket, it would have really been damaging if, if we'd have not, uh, if we'd have lost this game. So I knew that the way that it deteriorated throughout the last three days in particular, that coming into today, it was going to, it was going to happen even quicker again. And all we, all we needed to do was, um, was be relentless with the areas we were bowling. You know, if we put the ball in good areas for long periods of time, the wicket would do the rest for us. And it was just about holding on to the bowlers dealt with that pressure exceptionally well, and um, you know, really pleased with, with how it turned out. We're still, you know, half a day left here. All right, certainly very, uh, a very good victory. But in the scheme of the uh, series, is it's just a start. We know that India are an extremely good team, especially in these conditions, um, and they're, they're a very proud nation as well. They'll, they've got some some exceptional players, so they'll come back hard at us. Uh, but to be sat here one 0 up is. It's a, it's a really good one. Um, very proud of, of the way we've played this week. Uh, and we've set a benchmark now. We've got something to work from and uh, to compare ourselves to. to. Um, and I still think there's areas we, we, can, we can improve on, which again excites me. We've played as well as we have done and we can still get better. So um, yeah, it, it, it's certainly extremely pleasing to say right now. It was brilliant. I thought they both were. Uh, Bessie as well. First innings, he, he took four wickets. You know, Leachy obviously came into the wickets today, but as a whole bowling group, we spoke that we were going to have to work together if we were going to take 20 wickets out here. And I think collectively, everyone did their roles exceptionally well. Jack was asked to do a job against Pan, take a bit of a risk, see if he'll take you on, and try and create a chance. And, um, and unfortunately, he didn't quite fall for him, but for him to have the character and, and um, I suppose the skill level to come back from that, and shows where he's at with his cricket and, uh, and it's really pleasing to see him go out and get his rewards today because throughout the whole test matches uh, throughout the whole test match he was asked to to perform in a certain way and he delivered every time so I couldn't be more proud but I think it certainly served as well coming out here having faced the volume of spin that we have having the confidence of winning um, and, and and playing on a similar kind of wicket it wasn't the same by any stretch but the tempo of the cricket that you play in the subcontinent I think um, you know, it served us really well coming into this game. So, uh, I think the pleasing thing for me was we, we set out to score big first innings runs. We delivered it. We said we needed to be smart about how we we're going to construct 20 wickets, and we delivered it. And the challenge will be again when we turn up for the next game: can we can we replicate that? Can we go one better? Can we keep looking to improve as a team? And can we take it on individually to? Uh, you know, be that person that, that makes a difference. Well, we've got options. I think that's the, the beauty of, of how we've gone about things throughout this winter. I think it's really important that we look after our players and that we, you know, everyone comes into the game fit, fresh and ready and able to deliver their skill at 100%. Um, but we can we can look at, the, at selection and squad when we know what the wick is going to look like, and how it's going to perform, what we think is the best way of exploiting it. Um, and. Now those guys that get, get the chance to play, they, they have a responsibility to throw everything into that performance in that, those five days. And, and if, it's, if it's someone's turn to sit out and have a rest, then so be it. 
um, they've got to get themselves ready for their next chance. And the work ethic from the whole squad, even the, the guys that aren't in the squad and that have travelled with us, been extremely hard. They get better all the time. They're adapting to these conditions really well. And, and it's certainly as well out on the field. And we've seen the results. So we've got to keep looking to, to apply ourselves, have that same attitude. And not be happy with what we accomplished this week. We need to keep going. We need to keep trying to find ways of uh, of looking to develop as a team. And know that uh, there's a lot of hard work. No, I, I think you're always looking to try and maximise the skill level of each ball. I thought while the ball was a little bit firmer, um, Joffre was going to be able to exploit the surface better. And then when it when it obviously reverse swing came into it, the, the skill level and accuracy of Jimmy was always going to be very potent. So uh, it worked nicely for us. And to deliver a spell of bowling like that really did change the whole dynamic of the day. So uh, we've come to expect it from him. Uh, should have been because it's unbelievable that time and time again he can put inside that. But, um, uh, I don't think it changes a huge amount. You still come into the next game with the same amount of desire to win, um, the same plan. You try and learn the lessons from, from the previous game. Uh, the great thing for us is we're ahead of things right now. Uh, we sit here in a very good position and we've got to take that confidence forward. But, we can't be happy with what we've done. We have to keep looking to get better. I know I keep talking about it. We've got to keep finding ways of improving all the time. We're a young, young side in many ways. We've got some experienced players, but we're generally quite a young side. Um, and we have to keep looking to get better. We have to keep striving for improvement. And if we keep doing that, we'll, we'll keep uh, pushing ourselves forward as a team and, and keep challenging the best teams in the world in their own conditions. I think keep being more consistent. Um, look at the second innings with the bat. We could have probably gone about things slightly different um, and a little bit smarter about how we're going to score our runs. Once we got to 400, could we have pressed the accelerator a little bit sooner? Um, yeah, and been really that. clear about where our boundary options were when, when the pitch did get very extreme and start spinning as it did. Also, I think um, with the ball, we can probably contain a little bit better at times. You know, these are world class players, some of the best players of spin that we'll ever come, against, come up against. Um, and we expect them to, to counter us very well. But you know, can we just squeeze the game a little bit longer? Can we build pressure in, in a slightly different way when it's not spinning as much on days one and two? Um, you know, they're the small things that we can keep keep improving at. And I, I say that they are very small things because we did so many good things this week. That's exactly how it is. You know, India are a very proud team. They've got a fantastic record at home. And, you know, they've got some wonderful individual players that will be hurting right now and that will want to prove a point when they come to play again. So if we get the opportunity to get ahead in the game um, in the second test match, we have to grab it with both hands. We have to be ruthless. and We have to make sure that we do everything that we did well in this game again and better. Um, and that's all we can ask of the, of the players is, is to try and recognise those moments. Someone stand up and, and get you know, a really big individual score, and build those big partnerships that that set the game up. And again, when we come to bowl, can we build pressure for long periods of time? Can you take it on yourself to be the guy that, that cracks an end open like Jimmy did today and make a real make real inroads into um, into their, their, their batting order? Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're a very good team. We know that. We know that we can't be uh, dismissive of, of what we've seen this week. Uh, and expect a real fight for the, for the rest of this series. Um, I can't think of one in my time. Um, it reminded me a little bit of Flintoff in 05 and the impact of that over to Ponting and Langer um, slightly. But in the context of this game, it was huge. And um, when, you, when you're looking around big moments of test matches, you look around and you see someone like Jimmy Anderson. Um, naturally, you, you expect that from him, the likes of Ben Stokes coming on and, and taking the wicket of Virat Kohli. Uh, big game players, they stand up and they, they do special things. And it's a great example for all the young guys around to go out and, and uh, see that I want to be part of that, I want to be the one doing that. Um, all the guys sat watching on the side, all the guys on the field as well. Uh, not just, the, not just the, the bowlers, not just the spinners as well, but the, the batters. You know, they, they should see that they're those big moments that you have to grasp. Uh, and if you want to win series in these conditions against a side as good as India, 
the, they're the things that you have to get right. Uh, well, we certainly miss our fans, the travelling fans and the support that we have are fantastic. So it's obviously a big loss to us that they're not here and, and to be able to enjoy a week like this uh, alongside the guys playing. Uh, but in terms of how we go about things, I don't think it changes much. I think at times in these conditions, in this heat, it, it can um, it can seem to go a little bit flat. It's really important that guys take it upon themselves to to try and create a bit of theatre, to try and create a bit of an atmosphere out there in the field. Um, but ultimately, it's about delivering your skill time and time again. Being, being ruthless, like, like I keep talking about, um, and, and finding a way of, of getting the game on your terms. So um, it, it might be very different next week when there's, uh, there's a few people in the ground, and I'm sure that that'll, that'll improve the, the aesthetics of, of Test cricket even more, but you know, it, we look at some of the other games that have been happening around the world right now and it's a great time to be playing the game for Test Cricket. A wonderful game in, ba in Bangladesh, um, you know, Pakistan as well, hosting South Africa and two brilliant Test matches there. Uh, and for us to be, to be winning out here off the back of a, a, a sensational series in Australia, I think the game's as strong as it's been in a long time. And it's a really exciting um, year ahead, with, you know, especially for English fans, with the amount of cricket that we've got coming from. And we just need to keep trying to find ways of performing as we are because um, it's really fun to play in and I'm sure it's really fun to watch too. Yeah, um, I mean, we could have declared earlier, for sure we could have, but I wanted to make sure that there was only two results possible within this game. I wanted to make sure that we turned up today with a, a, a ball that was still hard and it was going to be able to explore that up and down bounce for both the seamers and the spinner. And uh, as well, just give a little bit of extra time for our bowlers to be absolutely ready to go. Um, we wanted to get to 400 and then we wanted to press the, the accelerator quite firmly. It didn't quite materialise like that, but having spent the amount of time out there as it did, I felt like actually uh, there, there was gonna, the way that the pitch had deteriorated from the first half out to, to when I came in the second innings, it was quite significant and that actually it was going to be really important that we, we had those runs on the board. It's a very fast outfield, it's a very small ground. Rich had pat bats for a session, it can make things quite interesting. Um, so more than anything, I didn't want the pressure of having to contain as well as trying to take wickets on our bowlers. I wanted to make sure that they could just concentrate on trying to find ways of taking wickets on that wicket, on that, on that surface, sorry. And know that you know, we were always going to create 10 chances. We just had to be very disciplined and, and make sure that we took them when they came. Uh, and you know, we were ex excellent. And we sat here with, with uh, a session and a half still to go in the, in the game. Having won, so um, we could have we could have done it earlier. I'm I'm just glad it's turned out how it has.